Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down there. That way you'll get notified of all the future videos. Today we're going to have a look at a new decal sheet from Lifelike Decals. This one is in 172nd scale, P51D Part 3, all about a big beautiful dolls. So, what exactly do we get in this decal set? Um, start with our, uh, take them out of the bag to start with, it's a nice sized bag. Everything comes out quite easily, he says. And we get the decal sheets. Um, first off, I'll just this is from Lifelike Decals, set 72037, P51 Mustang Part 3, Big Beautiful Dolls Special. Um, they're all P51Ds, all flown by John D. Landers from Major, uh, Lieutenant Colonel and Colonel. Six um, decal options, recommended for the Tamiya or Airfix P51Ds, and also Lifelike Decals. They're up for hearing what you have to say, any improvements, suggestions, and they've given you an email address, website, and a fax number. So let's see what sheets we get in here. There's a black and white sheet there, and two single-sided sheets. I'll go through these. So here you have top and bottom views as needed to get the decals in the main decals in the right places. 18 references used in putting this information together. I like what Lifelike Decals do. They do a lot of research and they give you all the references they've used. It's almost like a, uh, a reference document almost. If you want to you know, go to town on this, here's 18 publications that you need to get your hands on. Um, so that's pretty good. Now the, the meat of it all. Side views of the six and small uh, starboard nose views just so you can see what things look on that side and then a bit of background on the six aircraft obviously all flown by the uh, by the same guy um, it's actually only two aircraft should I say but uh, four different paint schemes that these aircraft had at any particular one time uh, all flown by John Landers in the 8th Air Force and it goes through, gives you details about, shall we say, the nitty-gritty of getting things right what's, you know, even what uh, what tread was on the main wheels um, which panels have changed the dates each one of these is applicable to um, it even gives you uh, in some of the decals it gives you two options so you can see 61, 62, 65, 66 are for the Tamiya kit and, well those are the B's, 61B, 62B for the Tamiya kits and the 61A, 62A and so on is for other kits. So they've even given you some decals that are specific for a particular uh, P51D kit. So even just reading this there's a lot of nice information there and a lot of detail. If you want to have a look at close up on this, have a look on the website. You'll see this the level of information they put on their uh, on their should we say decal information sheets. And then the last information is this is the uh, the stencils, the stuff that sort of do not step. Jack here um, uh, with the information about oils and fuels going what places. The same for all of the aircraft. So that's all need keep that separate and then the decal sheet I'll put those up on the sheet now on the screen now you get uh, three decal sheets um, two are done by microscale one by cartograph um, backing film is can't see any backing film apart from obviously around the text where it's being used to hold it all together um, if you wanted to, you could just use this set and do multiple more, you know, um, 
probably most of these aircraft, you can definitely do the main decals or the stars and bars for, uh, as you say, three of them, I think. Um, oh, at least two. You can do two. Then you'd have to use the decals that came with your aircraft, but you'd have all the, the big beautiful doll decals, so you can put things together. Um, checkerboards. There's three sets of checkerboards, so yeah, it looks like you can probably do all six just using this particular sheet, just using some of the more standard uh, decals from your kits. But all in all, pretty neat. Um, Colourful, certainly look uh, nice. So we say a couple of these on the shelf would certainly look quite nice. There's some uh, that are usually bright coloured and they look a bit different. So, pretty neat. Um, like I said, there's more photographs on the website and there'll be a link on the website as well and underneath this video as to back to Lifelike Decals website. So, many thanks to Lifelike Decals for sending it along for us to have a look at and hope you enjoyed having a look at it.